G'day guys, welcome back. I am playing with my huge Tree of Life silicon mold today and I bought these little photo frames a while ago. Uh, they are for, I think they're like for doll houses, that sort of thing. So you'd hang them on the wall in your dollhouse, I think, <laughs> if I can get them out. Oh gosh. So anyway, I thought, because I've got a Tree of Life mould, how about I use these? Look how cute they are. I mean, obviously you'd put your own photos in there. <laughs> Um, you might even want to put a photo in there and then put resin over it. But for the sake of today, I'm just going to, I'm going to dust my mold. Um, and then I thought I might try these. You know how you, you know how people hang them up like that? And then this one's got two under it and that one's got two under it and then it's got four. And so anyway, I just thought that would be cute, hey, to see what it looked like afterwards. So I'm going to use those. Um, the colours I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a, I just want to do like a silvery bluey sort of tone. So for the actual tree trunk and branches, I'm going to use this one, pearl white. So it's not basically white and blue. Pearl white from Lores. And then I've got these two bluey colours. They're from LBB Resin. I had a few different colours on my hand. I was putting them together and some of them were too bright blue and then others were too purple and some were too green. But I've chosen these two, Blue Lagoon and Marine Blue. And I think they will look nice. So I'm going to get to dusting. Um, I'll do a little bit and then I'll, I'll fast forward you because it's going to take a while. So now it's going to be a little bit difficult to see the, the white on the white mold. But um, hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing. So I'll just make a start. So for me, I can actually see, <laughs> see where I'm going. Uh, I've used this mold quite a few times now, so I just gave it, I just sprayed it with alcohol and then I got a wet wipe and I, I cleaned up the inside of it. Now make sure you're going to do the sides as well because it's a deep mold and you'll see the sides. So basically I'm just going to do that with the white. It's got a nice big thick tree trunk in the middle there and lots of little branches coming off like that. Um, but anyway, I'll swap to the blue because you can't actually see really what I'm doing with the white on white. I'll come back to that. So this is the, the lighter blue. Pretty, huh? And this is the darker blue. Oh gosh, I've just spilt in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to do this colour in here because I've spilt in there anyway. Hopefully it will... Yeah, it needs a bit more. Hopefully these colours will look nice together. So I'll do a little bit of this. It doesn't seem to be covering all that well, actually, that one, which is a shame. Let me try one of the others. Try the other colour. Because you want it to be a nice, you want it to be a nice colour, like on your leaves. So I can see the white through this one. You probably can't see at the moment. I'll, I might bring you in for a bit of a closer look so that you can see. I might have to change that one actually because it's just not giving me quite the coverage I'm wanting. So I do this little group of three. It's got a little group of three leaves here. I'll do them in the same colour. You don't have to. You might choose three different blues and then do one on each colour. I'll bring you down so that you can see. I don't know if you can see. You see on this one, it's covering really nicely. But on this one, you can kind of see the mold through there. So I don't think it's covering as well. I think I just had to put some more on. It's looking better now. I know it's a bit difficult for you to see. It's dark in there, but okay, that's looking better. I just had to make it a bit, a bit thicker. All right, let's go for this, guys. We'll do a little bit more of this dark. So that's one, two. This one is also 
from this little group. So I'll do that one as well. So obviously it just needs a thicker, thicker coat. But actually, you know what? It's probably better if I do the white first because see, I've, I've sprayed over with the blue. So I'm gonna have to clean that before I can put the white down. So I think it's probably easier if I do the, all the white first and then I do the blue because um, if some of the blue goes over the white, it's not gonna matter because the white is touching the actual mold. Um, so it's whatever's going to be touching the mold is what you're going to see when you unmold it. So um, I, I'm not even going to video the white because you can hardly see it and there's, there's no point me videoing the white. So I'm just going to go and do that real quick <laughs> and then I will come back to you when it's time to do the blue. Right, so that's done uh, and after I finished dusting it I picked it up and I flipped it upside down over the bin the trash can the bin the rubbish bin whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, just to get rid of some of the excess powder now there's a little bit of blue that's gone over the white as you can see but I'm hoping it'll be all right because the as I said earlier the white is touching the the mold and the blue is just sort of over the top so hopefully it will be okay so that's what it's looking like at the moment and I've mixed up some white it's probably way too much white it's been so long since I've made this tree of life I can't actually remember how much I put in but I'll, I'll try and work it out and then I can put it in the video for those of you that do buy this mold you'll know how much to use I mixed up uh, the Platinum 360 Plus. I did 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B, but like I said, I think it's going to be too much. So anyway, whatever's left over, I can weigh and then I can deduct it from what we used or what I made up, whatever I've got left. So it's just white. It's just white pigment paste. Um, I've used this one, the Iceland White by Art Treat Creations, but any white pigment paste will do. I think last time I did the trees I was using black but obviously with the white tree trunk I don't want black on it so basically just have to go in and fill everything up so that's the that's the main part so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of my white resin in this little paper cup uh, that way I can pinch it and Sort of put it where I want to. I mean, I can just pour into the middle and it will slowly spread through, but it's going to take a while, so I'm just going to help it along. So see, I can pinch that there and then just put it where I want it. Help it out a little bit. It's basically all you need to do. Like, it's not difficult. And if you're quite a creative person, you'll enjoy doing this. You know, dusting your little leaves in whatever colors you choose if the blue floats up to the top it's not going to matter because it's going to be the back so you're not going to see you know that blue that's floated up or well, that's the excess um, mica powder that you've dusted on it sort of floats up to the surface but like I said it's the back you're not going to notice it so don't stress too much um, I don't think it's worth trying to wipe any like if you've got the blue over the white branches I don't think it's worthwhile trying to wipe it off because 
it's going to smudge and then you're just going to have to add more white so i think just leave it we'll see how it goes hey be a nice little test to see if the white stays white love this mold it's so intricate was that a leaf that i missed down there oh, i always seem to miss one leaf was that i can't oh, i can't remember now i thought i'd got it i went over everything section by section and checked to make sure that i'd covered you know painted all the leaves dusted all the leaves so hopefully i haven't missed anything um i guess if you have missed something you can always go in with a little paintbrush or something or colored pencil or whatever and, and color it in afterwards if you're so inclined but hopefully I haven't missed anything it's actually taking quite a lot of resin <laughs> so this is I just find this easier to just put it into a little cup like this just don't fill your cup all the way Otherwise, it tends to run down the side. Just half full is plenty. It's easier to deal with when it's only half full. Oops, <laughs> I've got over. That's all right. You can just wipe it off. Not a drama. So the resin is self-leveling. For those of you that are new at resin, it's self-leveling. It will find its own little areas to run into and will give you a nice smooth level top so you don't need to worry about filling it all in yourself it will level itself it's quite a big wide area here you see it's probably going to take more than i expected look at that let's put some more in there and then a little bit more in here got a tiny bit left in my cup I'll scrape that out shortly if I need it gosh so it was 286 so um, almost almost 10 ounces for those of you that work in ounces almost 10 ounces I'd say if you made 10 ounces that would be good because I might be a little bit short here actually Just make up a little bit more but in saying that it's it's quite a thick mold um, you probably don't need to fill it all the way if you don't want to you know you've covered your leaves you've covered your branches you've covered the trunk you don't need to make it that thick if you don't want to but it's really quite 3d and it's a beautiful mold and you can do a winter one and a autumn one no fall with fall leaves i think that's what i did last time i did um like the autumn fall colors probably will make up a little bit more so it's probably going to be closer to instead of closer to 300 grams or 10 ounces it's probably going to be closer to 400 grams maybe 350 I, I really don't need a lot see I did what did I do I did 200 of A and 86 grams of B so that's 286 probably need like 350 350 grams which is what I made last time I remember now all right so that's it um give it a quick little spray with some alcohol I just broke my photo frames. All right, um, I'm going to make up a tiny bit more. Um, and then I will see you tomorrow when it's time to unmold. But yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to bring it up to the 350 gram mark. And I'll make a note of that. Right, see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. It's all set up. A little, few little pieces of resin's gone over the the top but that's okay they just pick off like that all right shall we see what it's going to look like hey the only concern i have is um you know the the blue that's gone over the white i hope it's i hope it's going to be all right hopefully my white tree trunk 
isn't too <laughs> blue looking. But um, yeah, that's that's the only concern that I have at the moment with it. I think everything else will be beautiful. It's just that that I'm a bit worried about. So I'll just take my time, go around. I should go around all the way around first and loosen the outside and then a little bit more around and loosen the middle. It comes out really easily, it's not a problem. I just, just take my time. Oh, it's out. <gasps> Woo Look at that. <laughs> There's a little bit of, it's really clean actually. <laughs> Just a little bit of blue on the top. You can just um, spray it with alcohol and get your baby wipes and clean that off. Yes, you can. That's it there. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready to flip this over? I'm going to get my little stool so I can see what you're seeing. Okay. Hopefully I can focus it properly. If I go slow enough, it should focus. All right, I'll turn it this way. Here we go. Wish me luck. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Has got a tiny little bit of blue, you know, there. But, um, oh, wow. Just to, you know, look at it from a distance, you wouldn't see that. Love it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that tree trunk. Isn't that just amazing look at it side on it's quite a thick piece like I said what do you think of the colors you guys looks wintry doesn't it oh I'm so glad those two colors worked nicely together Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited so excited okay so now that we've got that now this is where uh, my little photo frames are going to come into play and of course you know you would put your own photos in there um, maybe yourself and your partner and then down below your your children um, and you can actually put photos in there um, maybe put Mod Podge on or some PVA glue or some spray or something and then pop them in and then put some clear resin on them uh, just to seal them so they would sort of go there. I'm going to leave the, the branch going up the center. So I'll put those two there. I'm just putting them here for now. I'm not going to like stick them down just yet. I just want to see what, what they look like. Um, <clears throat> I, I did want to contrast. Like I didn't want to have the tree like a gold or a brass to match the little photo frames I did want the contrast so that's that and then that one can go there like oh they've just had one child <laughs> and this one here maybe they've had two children or maybe they've even had like three children so you could go like that if that one's had three children on that side and then, um, you know, you can just resin them on, you could stick them on, whatever you want to do. And then, I'm not quite sure how this all works. I have never done one. These, if these two, if these two get together and then they have a child, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it all works. Let's put two there. And then just one there, just because it looks nicer. Hey, like that. Just like that. I can just stick there. It fits really pretty. Anyway, you guys get the general idea of, of how it's going to, to look. Hey, something like that. Like so. This one seems a bit lopsided. I <laughs> have too many on that side. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, there we go. And then, you know, you can do as many as you want. Like so. I think we'll just stop there. <laughs> How's that look? Yay! <laughs> I've run out of little photo frames. But um, yeah, I just got these on um, on Amazon. Little photo frames. And just look up um, miniature photo frames or dollhouse frames, something like that. Do I want that one there? 
and we just leave it off so we can see the the beautiful tree branches so there you go what do you think love it love it love it all right uh yeah this mold is available in my ebay store if you want it it's very heavy thick mold bang so it does cost a bit to ship especially if you're overseas but um <clears throat> i think you know you'll find if you get one that it is worth the cost I only, only charge just what Australia Post charges me. I don't add anything on. It's just, it costs a lot of money to post overseas. I wish it didn't, but unfortunately it does. I don't do much about that. There it is. So let me know what you think of it. Let me know how you would place your little photo frames. I think it's just gorgeous and if you wanted to you could do you know match the same match the frames with your colors but I did want so I did want a contrast I didn't want it to be exactly the same so there you go it's so beautiful I love it love it love it love it all right thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed my video and uh, I will see you again real soon for the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.